What's up guys, so Arcage just released a patch, they did the double experience, double loot, double honor, and double vocation today, but there's also something uh, slightly added to this patch, and this is this new view price trend over the last 7 days. So you can see they give you a 7 day average, that's what this orange line here is, the 7 day average of prices. The green line is the same day average. And it shows you the high points, the low points, and then down here it tells you how many uh, units were actually sold during that day. So it's all broken up into days here. So we take a look at here, we're at 119, that's the current date. So the data is incomplete here, but we've already got 2,181 sales. We are in the Star Shard Ignits right now. So currently there's been 2,181 sold, and the same day average so the average price is at 79.45 the highest price that one star shard ignit has sold is 2 gold and 10 silver and the lowest price that some have sold has been 50 silver one of the things to note here is that you can really see when people do stupid stuff so like right here this day it's this looks just out of place completely and you come down here down at the bottom, the average for that day for 113 was 9 gold and 5 silver. And the reason it was that high is because someone bought 1, 2, we don't know how many, but they bought some of the Star Shard Ignids at 1,110 gold uh, per that day. So they may have only bought 1, they may have bought 10, they may have bought, well, you know, five but someone bought them for a thousand gold each so accidentally misclicked or maybe a rmt transfer real money transfer right there uh trade going on through the auction house but that is just insane so that day you can kind of throw out the window there was only a thousand six hundred and seventeen uh ignit sold that day and again that was completely skewed by that one or two or three or whatever it was sold for a thousand you can see here is the highest day we've had one that sold 4,168 so this will give you a good average of kind of like what the actual uh, selling price is and then you can just look at the graphs and see if the trends going upwards so this one the, the highest price was 365 the lowest price was 50 the average came out to 75 silver one of the things that is deceptive on this is that you can't go by the highest price because a lot of times the highest price is always going to be like a one unit sold um, or potentially a misclick here and there so highest price is not really a great gauge, and then even lowest price is not even a great gauge on the actual value of the price because lowest price should be, um, you know, a large stack of them being sold at, all at once at a cheaper, uh, cheaper price volume. So the average is a pretty good approximation of what the price is roughly worth. Uh, for people that are selling it, you know, in decent stacks of like 5, 10, 15, 20, right around there. Uh, so it doesn't tell us everything that you need to know, but it does give us a good guide. We're going to go take a look at some others real quick. It's very interesting. We're going to look at Apex because Apex has been constantly going upwards. And so if you're just looking in the auction house, you can pull up, you can click on any of these guys. And now it has a little tab right here to show you the, the trends. And so shows you here that both graphs are slightly going up the seven day average is actually lower than the single day average so in the last couple days um, last couple days we've seen huge spikes in apex prices and anyone that's been playing on the Morpheus server kind of has already seen that in reality they've seen the apex prices jump from like 450 to you know 500 and something so currently today 119 again the highest price is 515 but you can find some bargain apex on the auction house the lowest price was at 420 uh, the average price is skewing higher towards the 500 range so it's showing you that more people are buying it right around the 500 range and this is something that's extremely telling this shows you kind of how much money Tryon world is making per day Apex sales, you have to buy them from Tryon Worlds. And so you can see we're averaging a little bit of, you know, about 300 Apex a day on just on Morpheus' server sold. 300 Apex times 10 is $3,000 a day just in Apex sales, just on the Morpheus server. That's pretty impressive. Uh, for Trine World, and that's just through the auction house. There are tons of other people that are selling Apex through 
the you know faction chat trade chats those kind of windows to save on the auction house fees but yeah so just on apex sales alone they're making three thousand dollars a day uh it's not a, you know in an insane amount but then you factor in each server we have approximately 15 servers between north america and eu uh times that times three that's forty five thousand a day uh, approximately they're making 45,000 a day just on apex sales that is insane um, you know it's very very cool to look into their business to see here you can also check out some of the other cash up items and do the same kind of comparisons and see uh, have no fret guys apex prices may be rising uh, but the game's population may be declining some because of uh, blade and soul and uh, black desert but I don't think that Trine World is going to, you know, kill the game anytime soon. Trine World is probably making a shitload of money, as you can see, just based on Apex sales alone. It looks like they're making approximately $45,000 a day based on the U.S. and EU sales, just on Apex sales. So, insanity right there. They're making a lot of money. They're making a killing off of our gauge, and I, no worries for the game dying, being closed, shut down anytime soon. There may be server merges and things like that, but I would not worry about the game closing or dying, even with Black Desert and Blade and Soul, uh, you know, right here, right on the horizon. So that's it for today. We're going to take a look at some other things later on, uh, but enjoy the double XP, double loot drops, which should bring out more Ionod patterns into the game. Uh, so if this really does work, Ionod patterns, you can see here, so let's take a look at some information there's not going to be many here you can see one sold right here so you get a really good gauge of what the ionod patterns are actually worth because there's such a small sale volume you'll see here this is it shows you one sold and it sold at 5350 all the other days none have sold none 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 so like it's a very very good gauge on the actual value on super high end items it should be a good game for like weapons and things like that as well you have to play around with this and figure out a lot of other things. So we have no information for divine of obsidian staffs. No information. So these things are just too unique. Delphinite Sky Katana at Divine. Too unique to put a price on. Uh, things like the again the ionide patterns would be great. You really get a great value. And so if you ever see something that's cheaper than kind of like the average price, uh, you definitely know now like, oh, hey, if I see an Ionod pattern for 3,000 gold, it's going to sell around the four or 5,000 range. So it's a great buy. So I think overall with this system, the market players, the players that play the market and buy and sell and flip items are going to slowly increase the overall price value. So this is going to drive prices up, I think, overall of, you know, just general items. You're going to see... People are going to be able to track these trends, track the, the higher prices, and really put better values on things. And prices are going to go up, I think, in my opinion, just in general on almost everything. 